Welcome to Combatant Wing Chun. I am Sifu David. Today we're going to show you three Wing Chun kicking techniques that you must know. And at the end, I'm going to show you a bonus kicking technique, so stay tuned. We're going to show you a lot of cool stuff today. Let's get going. Alright, so the first Wing Chun kicking technique is called the Tan Gun. So, basically, in the uh, Tan Kyo form, we have this, and you lift it straight up, and then we come down to our double bong so, right? So how we use it is when he is has his leg on this side, same side as my lead leg. Okay, the shortest um, distance to my to him is his knee to my foot. Okay, because I can't reach him with my hand if I stand here. But if I just lift my leg, I can reach him. So that's why the time guard is good for a longer distance. Okay, so before I can reach him, before he can reach me, I can actually reach him with his lead leg here on his knee. Okay, so what it's used for, it's not used for a push like that. It's more used for just to stop him in his tracks. Okay, so it's like he's going to punch and say, oh, what's that on my knee? All right, so it's more of a uh, distraction. And it's also used for stopping him in his tracks so he can't advance any further. All right, so that's the first one. It's a time trap. Okay, so we're not going to be used, just for the drill, we would just do that. It, you don't want to actually like go like that on the guy's knee because it can really seriously damage his knee. So just be careful. So the second Wing Chun kicking technique is called the side kick. All right. And remember, we had the ta uh, the time there. The side kick is used when he is a little bit further away, like there. And I can take kick him with my side kick. Like okay. So you can't see this this way. So. Side kick like that. You guys see my time gun, I can't reach him here. But if I turn to the side, now I can reach him. So this side kick is used for a longer distance. So especially if you have time, the guy's coming out further away, he's coming away, right? And I can reach him, right? Um, but if he's really close, then I don't, then I, this is better because he's already close. And so the second one is the side kick. And what you want to do is to kick there, and then usually, in the form, we have this um, long cell, long cell right? just in case his punch is coming through. All right, so that's the second Wing Chun kicking technique. We're gonna do the third Wing Chun kicking technique that you need to know. And it's similar to the time grip, but now we're gonna use the rear foot. The reason we use the rear foot is because he's gonna turn his, uh, he's gonna change his stance. So now, now we're matching stances. Just light left leg on the big lead too. Now, why do I don't want to use a time jerk on this side? Why do you look at this way? Okay. If I use time jerk on this side, it twists my body, and it's very hard to keep it structured. All right. Unless you're really flexible, but I'm not that flexible, so it's not really ideal for me to kick his knee with my left left foot, left his left knee with my left foot. Now, you, know, you can probably say, how about the side kick? Well, you can do the side kick like this, and you can reach him. But the problem with that is that if I miss a side kick, look where I end up. I don't want to be here, right? He's behind me, he can do whatever he wants. So, what's a good kick to use? Well, there's the other time gear that you can use with your rear leg. So you can go like this. You see? You can go like that. So instead of using your left uh, lead leg, you're gonna use your rear leg, come up and kick this way. Okay? So if he's coming in, I can stop him with my rear leg. The benefit is that it's more powerful because you're using your rear leg. But the downside is that it's a little bit slower, as you can see it coming more. Okay? So usually I'll do a distraction up here and then I kick it down here, up and then down. All right, so that is the third Wing Chun kicking technique. All right, are you ready for the final bonus kicking technique? Now this technique is not actually a Wing Chun technique, that was, that's why I call it the bonus technique. Okay? So we ended up with this one, where I use the rear leg, but not quite if he's further away, like there. I can't reach him with this. How do I kick? I don't want to do the side kick because if I miss, I end up here, right? Well, you can do this. When he's coming in, I use the flick kick over here. Right into the balls, okay? So you see it this way. He's coming in, boom, flick kick right here. Okay, so you want to be fast, just flick right there. I don't want to actually kick this ball, kick him in the thigh, okay? So, right there. It's very hard to see, boom, okay? So I'm not going to lift it and then kick because he can probably block it. I want to go up in an angle like that. Sorry. 
<laughs> At the same time, what might be useful is if I actually slip and kick. Same time. Okay. Another thing you can add is you can hey, what's up, Terry? you can throw in a, uh, a spear to distract it. So yeah, it's a spear. Boom! He knows I'm kicking, so he's <laughs> back his knees. Okay. So if it's a further distance, instead of trying to stomp him, because I can try to reach him here, right? I can just go here and then reach him here. Okay. Okay. So we call that a flick kick or a uh, I don't know. It's a, we just call it a flick kick, and the target would be the balls. And the reason it works well is because you can go around the thigh, right? If you do a Muay Thai kick, you have to use your shin, but then you're sticking your foot out so that it goes digs in between the crotch, <laughs> right? So that's the bonus kicking technique for you. And those are the three Wing Chun kicking techniques that you must know. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, make sure you go and make a comment down in the comment section and like and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell so that you get all the instant notifications of all the new videos and lessons that are coming out on almost a daily basis. So I'll see you soon in the next video.